This is a filament test of Kai Parthi's Poralay Lay Felt. This does need to be soaked in water for one to four days after you print to remove the plastic base. This is the result of the printing with lay felt. It has not gone into the water yet, so it's still hard as regular PLA. Sounds a little fragile, actually, from the cracking noises. So you're supposed to drop this in water, let it sit for one to four days, and all the plastic dissolves out, and you're left with basically a piece of felt. So we'll see how that works out in a few days. And the comparison is Zero's PLA Black. I'm not going to drop that in water. Maybe I should, just to see what happens as a comparison. See you back in four days. And with the magic of videography, that will be mere seconds from now. Okay, so it's been about four days. It's time to pull these out. First one is the regular PLA. Looks like regular PLA still. Still hard. Doesn't flex. And we have this. Looks like there's quite a bit of flex in that now. And this is the lay felt again. You can actually unspiral parts of the mustache. Looks like it's delaminating here in the center. We got some delamination there, so we should probably keep that to something thin. Maybe it didn't fuse properly when it was printing. But it's only that part right there. Oh, there's some delamination there too. But it is definitely flexible now. Might still be able to use this in your nose and have yourself a little mustache that looks more like hair. But it does become flexible, so it could work for some things. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But it's definitely something to play with, see if you can come up with a use for it. So. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching.